Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. Users of TikTok on average spend about an hour and a half on the app every single day. That's a lot of time. And now TikTok says it's bringing in new time limits for users under 18. Here's Joe. All right, team. T minus 60 seconds till showtime. We got that banner ready? Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. I'm sick of him staring at me. If your phone was actually operated by tiny workers, this is what it might look like. See, across the globe, people are spending a lot of time on apps like TikTok. I've had it for around two to three years now, and I've used it, like, every day. Maybe one to one and a half hours every day after school. Uh, no, I don't use TikTok because I do not have a phone, uh, because my mum and dad uh, haven't bought me one yet. OK, maybe not Fletcher, but still. TikTok is a highly addictive platform. In Australia, our time has increased by 26.5% per month. That equates to an extra six hours and 12 minutes per month. Experts reckon spending too much time online can limit the ability to communicate and build relationships in real life. So, TikTok has announced it'll be setting a 60-minute screen time limit for all users under the age of 18. When you hit the limit, you'll have to enter a passcode, which TikTok say will cause users to have to make an active decision whether or not to stay in the scroll. It's almost like just a reminder of, um, hey, you've been on this, this app for this long, do you have anything else to do? So, what do you guys reckon? I think it's a little unfair. Some kids use social media to distract themselves from other stuff happening in their life. Do you think that it's going to help stop teenagers spending too much time? On TikTok, yes, but not on their phones because there are still other social media platforms. Rapidly rising floodwaters have forced around 700 people from their homes in remote parts of the Northern Territory. Emergency services are working to fly residents in four remote communities to safety in Catherine and Darwin after the Upper Victoria River burst its banks. People have also been told to look out for crocs that might be lurking in the floodwaters. Now let's meet Alex, who's testing out a new robotic suit that's designed to help him with a condition that affects his muscles. Here's Liber. This is Alex. He's 16 years old and lives in Leicestershire in the UK. Just before his fourth birthday, he was diagnosed with a condition called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. That's a genetic disorder where your muscles slowly become weaker and weaker, making it hard for people like Alex to do some everyday things. He's never really been able to run um, and jumping and things like that have become very difficult as well. And then sort of when you get to about seven to 10 years old, it progresses onto the torso and then onto their arms until it progresses through the whole body. While there's no cure for it yet, engineers in the UK are developing a prototype suit that could make it easier for people with this condition to do things. So Alex gave it a go. Oh, it's a bit of a strange sensation, a bit of a new thing. It was just pretty cool to see how technology and all that is advanced. The smart suit is still a work in progress, but once developed and improved, the goal is to make life a bit easier for kids like Alex. And to do the simple things, you know, maybe one day like brushing your teeth and combing your hair or even, you know, uh, hugging somebody, I think that's going to help. Now it's time to meet a frog who's living it up thanks to one man's sheer determination and a 3D printer. It all started here, a video posted to TikTok showing a frog that had set up shop inside an open fence pole. It inspired Dazza to make a prototype house using his 3D printer. Soon enough, people flooded his video with comments, suggesting he make changes to the design and add things like a veranda or a pool. All things that Dazza took on board and worked into newer versions of the house. His audience also came up with the name Frodrick for the frog, and in no time, Frodrick had friends over. But uh, they weren't all frogs. At first, Dazza thought he had to build a little froggy tunnel for Frodrick to hide in, but it soon became clear that the possum was just curious and they could happily coexist in peace. All this hard work seems to have paid off because now little baby Fredericks have been spotted. More than 600,000 people have followed Dazza's froggy adventures online, with his most recent video racking up around 40 million views so far. That's a lot of frogs. That's all we've got time for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. How am I going to feed you all? <laughs>